All right, so what is up guys? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create runtime permissions. So in case you want to use a location service or a camera in your app, this will just tell the user during runtime that they have to accept a uh, permission. And this is only used for API level 23 and above because below you can just state it in your manifest file and everything will be fine as far as the documentation goes. But uh, let me just show you what I mean by clicking on one of these two buttons. For example, if you have a location service that you want to start, you click here, it will say, do you want to let this app access your, posi uh, your position? And you can say yes, and your position will be granted, and you can start using that part of the app that uses the location service. And in case the user's like, uh, I don't really want it, they can say no, it will say camera permission preview refused, and then that could probably block them out of that section. Or else, uh, if you start it again, it will set this message that says why you need to use the mess, I mean, why you need the permission. And this is the second time they click on it, so you can create it at startup or whatever you prefer. But it should be descriptive and it should tell the users why they need this permission mission and it will ask them again and they can of course choose to never hear of it again. In case they refuse and say they never want to hear it again, they always have the option to go into their settings and click on the app and inside here they can actually find these two parameters right here for the security. So you can always turn that off and on. So if we turn off uh, location services, we can just go back. If they need to use the location part, they click on it, it will ask for them to do it again and you can click on consent and everything works perfectly. But with that being said, let's get started immediately on this small application by closing this window and opening a new project in Android Studio. Yeah, so let's get started immediately by going to our manifest file and creating those permissions. So the first one we're gonna need is the user's permission access find location or course location, whatever you prefer. And then we can do user's permission camera. Then we can go to our res file and go to activity main. And we're gonna go to the split view as always. And I'm just gonna copy and paste my previous layout, which consists of a relative layout and two buttons. The first button is called button underscore location. And the second button is called button underscore camera. One says location permission and the other one says camera permission. And when you click on it, it will request the permission. So it's a very simple button. And uh, yeah, let's move on to our main activity and start with the real code. So inside here, we're gonna create a couple of values. The first one being value fine location RQ for a fine location request code. And that can be any number you prefer. I just go for 101 and we'll do value camera. And that's gonna be RQ, the same thing, but we're gonna do 102. So it's important you actually create these request codes because they will be used later to figure out which request codes, uh, which uh, permission went where. But uh, let's continue. And the next thing we're gonna do is create a function that's called check for permissions. And it's gonna be private function check for permissions. All right, so in these parentheses, we're gonna create a string. So it's gonna be called uh, permission and it's gonna be of type string. Then we're gonna add a parameter named name of type string. And finally, we're gonna add the request codes here of type int. And right below, we need to check if the SDK version is 23 or above. So to do that, we just write if builds.version. We need to import build immediately. And type SDK int is more than or equal to builds.version codes, and it will be version code M. And we can just put that there. And we're gonna create a block there. And inside this block, we're gonna create another block, which is gonna be a when block. And inside here, we're gonna write context compat dot check self permission with the context of application context. And it's gonna take the permission parameter. And after that, we're gonna write equal to package manager dot permission granted. And then we're gonna create a block here that's gonna to say toast and it's gonna take application context as the context and we're gonna write name permission granted. So we know exactly which permission has been granted. And then we have to add this should show request permission rationale, which will essentially explain to the user why they need the permission after they've rejected it the first time. But inside here, we're gonna write permission and write show dialog. We haven't created this function yet, but we will soon. And inside show dialog, we are going to write permission, name, and request code. And right under, we're gonna create the else statement 
which is going to say else activity compat dot request permissions and it's going to take this as the activity context and it's going to be an array of permission and finally it's going to take the request code so essentially what we're doing here is checking for the permission if it has not been granted it's going to ask for the permission and that's all that's happening here then immediately under we can actually go ahead and create our uh, show dialog function so we're going to do private function show dialog and it's going to take permission of string it's going to take name of string and finally it's going to take the request codes of type int and the first thing we need to do is create a builder so we're going to do value builder and that's going to be an alert dialog dot builder with the context of this then we're going to write builder dot apply and inside here we can set the message to be permission and we're going to set a title so they know what they're signing up for and it's going to say permission required under that we're going to write set positive button and the text is going to be okay and of course we're going to create the block with the dialog uh, with the dialog and the witch and that is going to allow us to actually request the permission by writing this small line of code which is going to be activity compat dot request permissions it's going to take this at main activity as the context and it's going to be an array of permission as before and it's going to take the request code as the final parameter and finally we actually want this dialog to show so below we have to write val dialog and it's going to be builder dot create and under we can do dialog dot show so now we have the show dialog which means that once we check for permissions and we refuse to accept the second time we open the app and click on the permission it will give you an explanation on why you need to use uh, the permission to use the app and immediately after that we can move on to our next function which is going to override on request permissions result and inside here this is actually going to tell us whether we've accepted the permission or we have refused it and in case you accept the permission you can write the next line of code of what you want the app to do and if they refuse it you can make a toast or something else but i'll just show you right now what i mean by all of that so we're going to do function in a check and this is just to keep things a bit cleaner inside this function so it's going to be of type string and inside here we're going to do if grant results is empty or grant results at the index of zero is not equal to package manager dot permission granted we are going to create a toast with the context of application context and it's going to take the name and it will say permission refused so that will say which permission just got refused in case you put uh, it depends on which permission you choose else we can write we're going to actually copy and say the same thing or we're going to do granted and basically what you can do here is write the codes that you want to show up if they refuse to accept that permission or write the code that you want to carry through if they already accepted the permission then we're going to go down and write when request code when request code is equal to find location rq we're going to write in a check and inside here we just write location and we're going to do the same thing for our camera request code i'm going to write in a check and we're just going to write camera and finally we need to give the function to these buttons that we just created in our xml file and we're going to write private function button taps and inside here we're going to do button camera dot set on click listener and we're going to write check for permissions which is the function we created right below and the first one we want to check for is the camera permission so we're going to do android manifest permission and we're going to take camera and then we're going to write camera as the name so the app knows what kind of toast to create and we're going to have to insert our camera request code and we're going to do the same thing for the button location and we're going to do set on click listener and we're going to write check for permissions it's going to take android dot manifest dot permission and it's going to say access find location and inside here we'll write location and finally the request code for find location and the last thing that we have to do which is always important and i always forget is to actually call it on our on create method and with that being said we have just successfully finished the codes for creating a permission checker 
Now all that is left to do is to actually test it out. So we're going to enable the screen. All right, so now it opened. And if we click on location permission, it's going to say, do you want to let this app have the location of your device? And you can say no if you want. It will say location permission refused. And if you click on it again, it's going to tell you why you should permit the app to use it and they can write OK. Usually it's nice if you add a cancel button so they don't feel trapped. And uh, this time we can actually write consent. We've just permitted the app to use the camera. And if we go to our settings, let's say to our recent, uh, our recent apps, we can see right here that I wrote uh, room time permissions instead of runtime permissions. And if you click on here, we go to authorizations, you'll see that we have those two permissions right there that can be changed at any time and you can deactivate them there if you want. And when you come back to the app, it will tell you to reactivate it if you want to use that part of the app. And of course, you can run this uh, check on, on create if you prefer the users to immediately accept all the terms and conditions. But according to the documentation, it is a lot nicer if you let the users activate these permissions as they use the app. So if you open the camera, that's a good place to add the camera permission. If you open a map, it's, it's good to add the location permission right before they actually open the map. So uh, with that being said, I really hope this tutorial helped you with permissions. And uh, if you have any other recommendations, just leave them in the comment section below. I'd be happy to look at them. And with that being said, I will see you guys in another video and thanks for watching.